Hey guys, how you doing out there? This is Mike and Shoshana Bowens coming to you from Make It Last Forever. This topic that we're coming to you um, to talk about is a house is not a home. Just because you have a house don't mean that there's love there. Just because you have a house don't mean that there's compassion there. Just because you have a house don't mean that there's passion there. Just because you have a house don't mean you have unity there. Right? Just because you have a house don't mean you have the Spirit of God dwelling there. And these are the things that's going to make a home. See, a home is when you walk into the house, it's like your, your other sanctuary. Yes. You walk in there, you come from work, or you come from the gym, or you come from church. This is a place that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Your family is there, your wife is there, your husband is there, your kids are there. And you feel like, man, I love these guys. Yeah. You know, you feel the presence of God when you walk through your house. You're like, man, I love this place right here. You know, because you have all those elements. That's like if you're baking a cake, right? And you put the milk in and you put the sugar and you put the, the ingredients. No, you don't put the eggs. That cake is gonna be flat. That's true. That's gonna be a flat cake. That's true. <laughs> you need a little puff to it. Yes. Gotta have a little something to it. Something to hold on to. <laughs> you know, so if you don't have that, you're missing the, the ingredients to make a good cake. That's just like a good home, right? You want your home to be happy. You don't wanna come to the house and somebody's nagging you all the time. Nagging, 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 nagging. You know, that's, that's a house. It's not a home. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to argue, you come home and you arguing all the time. That's a house. It's not a home. It's a shack. It's a shack. <laughs> it's not even a love shack. Love shack, baby. Love shack. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that this morning. <laughs> but it's not even that. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to say anything? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got to make sure that your, your, your house, your home is filled with the ingredients that you know you want it to be filled with you know like he was talking about the cake you know when once you bite into that cake and you don't there's certain ingredients that's missing it's not going to make you happy like i love when you know my cake has all the ingredients because i can bite into it and get that mm, that's when it's like, warm. yeah you just like oh you get some milk to go with it mm, you know and so when you're when you have that feeling at home, you you it's you just feel so warm and, and inviting. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite words. She's like, did you see the house? It's so warm and inviting. I'm like, is the heat on? No, no, the heat is not on. That's what I'm talking about. It's just the feeling the, that the, you the get. The presence. The presence. The ambiance. Yes. Yes. yes, you can come home and you know you leave everything outside the door. When you close that door behind you, you know that you're you're in a place where everybody that's there has got your back. You know, there's not going to be somebody that's going to talk back, um, back talk you, or or you know backbite or put you down or discourage you. Or you know, the people that's in your home is going to love you, is going to encourage you, is going to lift you up and build you. You know, those are the type of ingredients that you want in your space, in your home. You want that that love presence, you know what I'm saying? You go to some people's houses and you just don't, you just don't feel that. You don't feel that when you come back home to your home, you're just like, ooh, you, feel, you don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to leave the house because it just feels so good. But you got to leave your house now. You, you got to leave your house. You got to go work. You, you got to go work. <laughs> you gotta don't work. Don't, don't eat. eat. <laughs> you got to go work. You got to go work. <laughs> Sometimes you got to leave the nest and go, you know? But it just feels so, it feels so good when you come home from working, you come back home and you just feel that very essence of, of your family, of that, that environment that you created, you know, with your family, so. Let's talk about that for one second. Creating an atmosphere that your family can thrive in. Oh, that's good. So it's like when you in your house, you create the atmosphere. You don't yes. wait for the atmosphere to be created. Mm. If you're a husband, you do the things that you know your wife needs and wants. You do, if you're a husband, you do the things that your kids need and want. If you're a wife, you do the things for your husband that he needs and wants. Mm -hmm. And also for your kids. Yes. And also for yourself. Yes. Because you know, so yes. many times, yeah, you know, you take care of everybody else, but you don't take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, your house, has to be a home, right? Just like, you know, how some people cook cook chicken and some people who cook chicken. <laughs> you know, you eat some food and you be like, that food is saying something. Yes. But some food is just not saying anything at all. <laughs> you go to a restaurant, you taste that food, you're like, eh, it's all right. 
Is there some food you taste you like? God <laughs> dang, this is good. <laughs> you want to go back again and again because it, it, the, the flavors, they cook with love. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like my father-in-law, when he makes, he used to cook his food, his peas and rice and his oxtail and all that stuff like that. Man, they be like, dang, daddy, you cook this food good. They be like, yeah, my daddy cooks with love. Yes. You know, because you got to feel what it is that you're doing. When, yes. people come in, when you go into your house, you should feel love. You should create an atmosphere. Just like we got a thermostat right behind us here. Mm -hmm. You probably can't see it. But, you know, in the wintertime, you set the heat to 70. What's the love thermostat in your house? Oh, that's good. <laughs> is it on zero? Is it on 70? Or is it higher than that? You know, but you create that in your household. You create it. Right? So be proactive in creating the atmosphere that you want in your house, in your home, excuse Yep, in your home, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel, you know, to this playlist. We, we want you guys to check out all the videos that's on this playlist and all the videos that's on this channel. And, uh, you know, leave comments. Let us know what you guys are feeling. Let us know what you think. Give us some feedback. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.